Why Hitler did not like the Jewish people is something that is regularly discussed when studying the Holocaust, which resulted in six million Jews being killed in an act of genocide. In addition to Jews, other groups that were targeted and victims of genocide included gypsies, homosexuals, the disabled, addicts, political opposition, communists, and any other detractors to the Nazi party. This video explores the reasons why Hitler disliked the Jews, citing various scholars, historians and beliefs. 67% of viewers watch this video without subscribing. Please subscribe to our channel and support the author's work. Hitler was born in Austria in 1889. He developed his political ideas in Vienna, a city with a large Jewish community, where he lived from 1907 to 1913. In those days, Vienna had a mayor who was very anti-Jewish, and hatred of Jews was very common in the city. During the First World War, 1914 to 1918, Hitler was a soldier in the German army. At the end of the war, he and many other German soldiers like him could not get over the defeat of the German Empire. The German army command spread the myth that the army had not lost the war on the battlefield, but because they had been betrayed by a stab in the back, as it was called at the time. Hitler bought into the myth. Jews and communists had betrayed the country and brought a left-wing government to power that had wanted to throw in the towel. By blaming the Jews for the defeat, Hitler created a stereotypical enemy. In the 1920s and early 1930s, the defeated country was still in a major economic crisis. According to the Nazis, expelling the Jews was the solution to the problems in Germany. This political message and the promise to make Germany economically strong again, won Hitler the elections in 1932. After he had come to power, the laws and measures against the Jews increased all the time. It ended in the Schau, the Holocaust, the murder of six million European Jews. There are countless imaginative explanations for the reasons for Hitler's anti-Semitism. Hitler is said to have been ashamed of his partly Jewish roots. Another explanation links his hatred of Jews to trauma caused by a poison gas attack in the First World War. Yet other theories suggest that Hitler had contracted a venereal disease from a Jewish prostitute. There are, however, no facts to support these explanations. What we do know is that two Austrian politicians greatly influenced Hitler's thinking. The first, Georg Ritter von Schönerer, was a German nationalist. He believed that the German-speaking regions of Austria-Hungary should be added to the German Empire. He also felt that Jews could never be fully-fledged German citizens. From the second, the Viennese mayor, Karl Luger, Hitler learned how anti-Semitism and social reforms could be successful. In Mein Kampf, Hitler praised Luger as the greatest German mayor of all times. When Hitler came to power in 1933, he put similar ideas into practice. The First World War played a decisive role in Hitler's life. It gave his life, which had been rather unsuccessful up until then, a new purpose. In 1914, he enlisted in the German army, which, together with the Austro-Hungarian Empire, was fighting France, England and Russia. Although he saw little action, he did receive an award for courage shown. The German defeat was hard to swallow for many Germans and for Hitler too. In nationalist and right-wing conservative circles, the stab-in-the-back legend became popular. According to this myth, 
Germany did not lose the war on the battlefield, but through betrayal at the home front. The Jews, Social Democrats and Communists were held responsible. Hitler blamed the Jews for everything that was wrong with the world. Germany was weak and in decline due to the Jewish influence. According to Hitler, the Jews were after world dominance and they would not hesitate to use all possible means, including capitalism. In this way, Hitler took advantage of the existing prejudice that linked the Jews to military power and financial gain. Hitler viewed the world as an arena for the permanent struggle between peoples. He divided the world population into high and low races. The Germans belonged to the high peoples and the Jews to the low ones. He also had specific notions about other peoples. The Slavic people, for instance, were cast as inferior, predestined to be dominated. Hitler felt that the German people could only be strong if they were pure. As a consequence, people with hereditary diseases were considered harmful. These included people with physical or mental disabilities, as well as alcoholics and incorrigible criminals. Once the Nazis had come to power, these ideas led to the forced sterilization and killing of human beings. The ideas that Hitler developed in the 1920s remained more or less the same until his death in 1945. What did change is that in 1933, he was handed the power to start realising them. During the 1930s, he did everything he could to expel the Jews from German society. Once the war had started, the Nazis resorted to mass murder. Nearly six million Jews were murdered during the Holocaust. Please feel free to share your thoughts and opinions on what Hitler and the Nazis did during the Second World War. Perhaps large sections of your ancestors died at the hands of the Nazis. Sadly, it seems mankind have learned nothing from this awful time in history. And hatred, war and even genocide still go on in parts of the world today.